This is Pat, just digging life. We're here on a permission today. I'm told there was some activity here during the Civil War. We're in the southern tier of New York, nestled in the foothills. There's Ron doing his thing. So far I found some junk, a nickel, and two pennies. See how the day goes. I can't make that out, but it's definitely weedy. All right. I'm at a new location. There's Pat. This house was built in 1850. It's got about an acre of land. We're uh, yet again out towards the Finger Lakes region. And, uh, Rumor has it, this house was used for a boarding house back in the 1800s. And the owner found a Civil War belt buckle in a rock garden. That was my first old weedy though. All right, there you close her up, see you. Okay folks, been here about an hour. And this might be my coolest find yet, since this is only my fifth time detecting. Fifth or sixth. I found an old toy car. Super excited. Ooh, that's pretty sleek looking. Oh yeah. I am excited. We'll have Ron clean this up. And we'll post it later. Woo, still got some of the wheels. Three wheels. Yay! Pretty neat. Got myself another weedy. Again, probably not going to be able to read the date off of it. I can't see it. I'll be back. Alright, diggers. You got me another find. This one looks like a locket. Alright. We got ourselves a locket. I believe uh, the lady that uh, owns the property now, um, they've been here for an awful long time. So I'll definitely clean this up a little bit and see if it possibly uh, belongs to her. Might even try to open it. Very neat. I'm gonna go clean this up real quick. A little fancy on there. Of course, it looks like it was uh, gold plated. So maybe I'll try to open her up. All right, I gotta get back to digging some holes. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah, found this. Not very exciting. And always check your holes because this was laying next to it. I don't think I would have checked the hole. I would have assumed that this was it. So this was laying in plain view. It's a little button. Very excited. All right, here's a few finds. Boy well, found a button. It does say Superior setting on the back end. If you uh, recognize it, drop it in the comments. I'm guessing uh, some kind of military, maybe World War II, something like that. But, uh, let me know. Found a cool locket, possibly some initials on it, not sure. I'm not gonna open it. I'm gonna give all this stuff back to the homeowner. And a couple wheat pennies. I believe this is a 1940 something 
and that one's 1931 or reverse that so we're gonna take a little break let the poor lady let her dog out and uh, come back and probably switch sides very good all right all right I'm up next to the house where the owner found an 18 30s, 1840s, um, U.S. Ah. buckle. Hi. And come across coin spill. Still getting these out. Woohoo! Two quarters. Not a penny. Let's see what else is in here. Okay, now I found a second quarter and another penny. Dig to see what else is in here. I just pulled this out of that little round hole, and oh my, oh my! Tell me this isn't real. Oh my! <laughs> Even if it's not, it's cool as heck. Everything that I uh, get is uh, gonna probably stay with the owner. So I gotta get an ID on this, at least some nice pictures. So uh, let me do that. And uh, let me go show my wife. She's out there somewhere, hiding behind that big uh, propane tank. All right, welcome back, welcome back. Still at the farm. 1850s house. I got some people coming over. I got a picture of uh, the belt buckle lady found. I'm gonna throw that in here now. Very cool. All right. Gotta go.